keep it secret, to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today I have my 99 driving dunk build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noti gains for my daily dub uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video, all right? Now, I'm not, listen, I'm not gonna be that type of guy to say, hey man, this build right here is the best, greatest build of all time, that type of deal. But I'm going to tell you what, man. Listen, it got to be at least top three. Now, I just want you to see this. And again, y'all going to see the gameplay. But let's just look at the attributes first. And I'm going to show you what is so toxic about this. Okay, so as you see, I got an 86 close shot. Um, because I got an arm sleeve on, it's really 85. If you look up, it's 85. I got an 80 driving layup for Zach Levine. A 99 driving dunk. And a 70 standing dunk to get stand, um, standing dunk to get standing dunks obviously around the basket. Okay, now 68 mid range because if no one really cares about shooting middies, 84 three ball. I do have an arm sleeve on, so it's really an 83, but I have an arm sleeve on. All right, 75 pass accuracy. I get the 87 ball handle and the 75 speed with ball, obviously to get Michael Jordan dribble style. Okay, then I got 70 interior defense, 75 perimeter, which associate my lateral quickness. The big one here is an 85 steal. Right, that gives me silver glove, 75 block, that gives me gold chase down artist, and I have a 69 offensive and a 7 defensive rebound. A lot of people make 6-9 builds, they do not have any rebounding here. This right here allows me to get offensive and defensive rebounds to get in transition. Then I have a 75 speed, max out my acceleration at a 78. I didn't go strength with this one, but I will make another one that shows strength. But you really don't need the strength if you're really good with a pro um, pro stick dunk animations. Strength really plays a part if you are more of a square button presser, right? For contact dunks, if you're going to the basket pressing square. But if you know how to use your pro stick, you don't really need this, okay? Keep that in mind. You got to have the 82 vert because that's going to allow you to get all the pro, I mean, the elite contact dunks. And of course, my signature 90 stamina. That's all you really need, okay? Now let's look at the badges. Now this is where things are insane. Acrobat silver, giant slay on silver, even though I'm 6'9". I still like utilizing that because if I go against um, centers um, when I'm in a 1v1 or whatever, I want to be at least able to have that. But the golden ticket, Slithery Hall of Fame, Limitless Hall of Fame, Fearless Finisher on gold, Posterizer Hall of Fame, and Fast Twitch on gold. Now, as you can see in the right, I do have double cord badges. So I double cord my finishing. So I am getting Limitless and Posterizer as my double cord badges. So if you don't have that, then obviously you have to go ahead and use your discretion of where you want to put your badges. I have right now Amped on Bronze, Agent 3 on Silver, Green Machine, and Catch and Shoot. Yes, it seems a little awkward, but the reason why I have it like this is because I'm a primary ball handler, but then I do pass the ball off a lot, and I just want to have catch and shoot. So when I look at my tier three badges, the ones that I really could get would be blinders, but I decided to go catch and shoot. It, it, listen, it doesn't make sense, but it's my. this is how I play. I know most people might want to go blinders, and then, of course, call it a day. Don't worry about catch and shoot, okay? Now, I added all my badge points, my other badge points here. That's why I have 24. The link to this build will be in the description, okay? But I have Clamp Breaker on gold, Handles for Days on silver, on um, on Puckable on gold, Quick First Step on gold, Hyperdrive, and Ankle Breaker on gold. All right, so as you can see, I have all the, the essentials, but I did add all six of my badge points here, all right? And then on defense, I got Glove on silver, Menace on silver, Workhorse on silver, Clamps on bronze, Chase Down on gold, and of course, I have Challenger on bronze, Anchor on bronze, and Rebound Chaser on bronze. Listen, I know I said a lot, but it's this build is toxic okay it's very toxic all right so what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna prove my worth by going in a 3v3 running with randoms okay i'm going 3v3 run with randoms and just show you if they start to pick up quick yo unk know how to this an unk is a glitch it's gonna get toxic really quick all right so as usual man sit back relax grab a big bag of popcorn and i'll be back in about three seconds all right, my nephews and nieces, man, let's just hop right into it. So again, like I said, I'm running with randoms, I'm going to 21. I'm going on my 99 driving dunk build. I just want to see what it's like, you know what I'm saying? To me personally, this is, like I said, man, I don't want to be tooting and saying like this is the best build ever, but it is. I mean, it's really, really, really good. It's very, very, very easy to utilize. If you're someone that allows pressing just a square button to get dunks, you're going to be able to get a crazy amount of dunks with this build. 
But if you're someone like myself that's really, 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 really good at using the pro stick, then you're definitely going to see the benefits of having that pro stick. But at the first possession here, look, I just blow right by them and get the quick drops, get the easy dunk. All right. So again, like I said, you have limitless on Hall of Fame. Let's not sleep on limitless takeoff on Hall of Fame. You're going to be able to jump damn near from the free throw line every single time and get the dunk animation. Right. If you're using pro stick, you get it every time. All right. But as you see right here, still playing excellent defense. I told you I got a 75 block. So I'm able to get really, really, really good um, interior defense just by jumping. Again, I was very fortunate to have randoms that could shoot the ball. So again, you got to listen. It's not easy running with randoms. All right. Trust me. But I got a good team. And look at this one here. Easy. As you saw what I took off from, I took off from the free throw line. I didn't eat. Oh, my God. Laid him on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, hey, we had a, hey, hey, man, don't, don't get caught with a body with Uncle Jimmy around, man, because you're probably going to end up in a video, all right? <laughs> you're probably going to end up in a video, but yeah, as you see, man, if you use a pro stick, you're going to be able to get crazy contact dunks. Look where I'm going to be taking off at. It's very, 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 very toxic, all right? 99 driving dunk. I can shoot it, right? But again, if they do not show the ability to stop the driving dunk, as you see right here, I'm going to continue to dunk the ball over and over and over, right? So, again, like I said, inside out, 68 mid-range. I'm not worrying about shooting the mid-range shots. All I'm trying to do is shoot three-pointers or get contact dunks, right? Those are the only two things I'm looking for. And I'm not too shabby on defense. You've seen what I can do on defense. And maybe I should be able to get more gameplay, as you see right here. Again, look at where I take off. He's on my hip. Right? If you don't have limitless takeoff on Hall of Fame, you're going to get a layup animation. But I'm telling you, I think, and that's why I think that you got to understand what you're about, to, what you're watching right now. You think about, oh, that's easy. I could do that. No, you got to literally have Hall of Fame posterizer and Hall of Fame limitless takeoff to activate these contact dunks where you're literally having somebody on your hip and you're still going up for the contact dunk. As you see right here, I go up on two people. Once again, easy contact dunk and yes as you can tell i green a lot of them because not only is the, the green window bigger than anything that most of y'all probably have if you don't have a 99 driving dunk but also i, I, I practice this man i time it a lot but as you're gonna see right here i don't think do i see i don't even green that you see that i didn't even green that and i still made it and listen if you know about pro stick dunks if you are not greening your pro stick shots no matter what it is slightly early slightly late you miss it but on the hall of fame you make a lot of them, all right? You make a lot of them, and you make a lot of them in traffic, okay? So it's very glitchy. Now, you do utilize a lot of points to get to this 99 driving dunk, but I just want to show you here that it's absolutely worth it, and you can still have a 99 attribute, be it a 99 driving dunk in this case, or a 99 um, three-point shot, and still be very, very dominant with the build. As you see right here, I go up again, easy time. I mean, like, Think about that. If you was on your player right now and you only had gold, um, gold limitless, are you taking? Is that dunk going to be happening? It's not going to happen, all right? You played this game long enough to know if you want contact dunks, they need to be right under you. If they're right there on your hip or they're right there on your hip and there's someone in front of you, you're going to get these crazy, weird layup animation because it stops your dunk. Not when you have Hall of Fame, man. So again, I just want to, I just want to, you know, I just want to show and let you know how dominant this build can be. We talked about the defense, how you have the 75 chase down, I mean, dumb block for chase downs, but it's really, you know what I'm saying, man, at the end of the day, man, this is a very easy build, kid-friendly build, build for someone that's just getting introduced to 2K. Listen, it's cheesy, man, 100%. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section about this build. I know this was very short and sweet. I just want to show you how easy you can get contact dunks over and over again. I might want to bring this build in the rec. I can also show you how this build can shoot, right? It can shoot lights out. So it's really up to you. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see this build done next. Do you want this in a 3v3 in the park? Do you want this in the rec? Let me know. But other than that, you know how it is, man. This is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.